Reporting live from Toronto, where an unexpected horde of Nephilim has breached the walls and is advancing into the new city. With the evacuation procedures underway, a spokesperson from Don reports that their newly formed response team is currently on its way. The team is led by Eiji Murasame, better known as the giant superhero Aegis Prime, who has been fighting the Nephilim for nearly 30 years now. Tempest Galahad, the first combat-ready Atom, and her pilot Jamila Sanai will also see action today, providing firepower and tactical support. Aegis and Tempest will be joined by the recently unveiled results of Dawn's secret research programs, two Nephilim fighting for our side. These are the well-known Ganera, Terror of the Seas, and Megadon, the living volcano. These four warriors represent humankind's last hope. And today, we'll see them strike back against the Nephilim. Aegis, are you headed for the briefing room too? Huh? Oh, hey, it's the pilot girl. God, yes. I'm actually kind of lost. The sunrise is a bit of a maze when you're new to it. It was an honor fighting alongside you in Toronto, by the way. I still can't believe I'm working with the great Aegis Prime. Not as impressive at my normal size, I know. Wait a second, are you late too? You don't seem to be in much of a hurry. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Fire me? <laughs> I don't think the captain will be happy. Relax, Optimus. It's no big deal. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome, Jamila, AG. Congratulations on a successful first mission. This is just the beginning of the operation to take back Toronto. Tomorrow, we're planning to go further into the city. Any questions? No questions, ma'am. But I'd like to say how honored I am to be a part of this historic moment. We'll give it our all. Uh, you'll give it your all. I'll be focused on making sure you don't get killed. Leon, this team is still looking a bit green to be out in the field like this. Encouraging words noted, AG. Luckily, I'm confident enough for the both of us. As am I. Seeing Mega... And it'll be a great opportunity to learn more about the Nephilim. Ooh, maybe we'll even discover a new species down there. <gasps> How intriguing! While we plan our next mission, A.G., Jamila, please accompany Dr. Ivakin to R&D. He's got something to show you. A.G. Jamila, thank you for coming. I have an exciting new discovery to show you. If you'll join me in the R&D department. We've isolated some new combat-focused mutations into extractable DNA augments and have added them to our inventory. 
allow me to demonstrate, please. Uh, select an augment you'd like to equip to Megadon. <laughs> yes, you can tell that Megadon feels the changes. He's got the strength of an armored tiger. Ah, that's all for now. If you're having a tough time, remember to come over to R&D to equip better augments and buy upgrades. What the hell are those people doing down there? Having a picnic with the Nephilim? They're scavengers. They use illegal tunnels under the walls to salvage abandoned goods. <sighs> Needlessly endangering lives all over us. Fuck. Will they be punished? They're in custody. But I'll try to get them a pardon in exchange for intel on the Nephilim territory. But ma'am... There's more than one way to lose to the Nephilim, Jamila. You should know that better than anyone. Everyone's trying to survive, kid. Let it go. Ah, AG, my friend. Is something the matter? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this whole team thing. I've been fighting these monsters for over 20 years, Victor. Now I'm suddenly expected to fight alongside Megadon and Ganera. It doesn't feel right. And it won't, so long as you think of them as these monsters. Think of them as... Uh, as no different than the atoms, or your Sheol powers. We are using the enemy's weapons against them. Are we really using them, though? How do I know Megadon isn't going to suddenly turn against me? Project Raven is a marvel of science, AG. I promise you, you have nothing to fear. Oh, Miss and I. Is there something I can help you with? Please, call me Jamila. I'm looking for any information we have on Nephilim behavioral patterns. Really? Oh, that's such an exciting topic! The Nephilim are such interesting creatures! Anything specific you're looking for? Mostly weak points to exploit in battle. I'm, uh, looking to optimize my tactics. Oh. Oh, of course. Our files are still a bit of a mess from Professor Maki's disappearance, but I should have something. Let me check. By the way, your piloting skills are amazing. It must have taken a lot of hard work to be able to move like that. Six years of training. It'll be worth it now, though. I've wanted to serve a greater purpose for a long time. And with Galahad at my side, I think I'll finally be able to do it. Trust me, you're already making a big difference. Uh, hey, I think I found something. The scavengers you rescued have provided us invaluable intel. They've been deeper into Nephilim territory than our drones can reach. A research team led by Dr. Ivakin requested permission to enter the restricted zone to verify the data. Against my better judgment, I let them go. One hour ago, we lost contact. If anything happens to them... Understood. We'll head out right away. See? That's Tempest Galahad, the woman next to Aegis. You were right about her necklace. Whoa, hey. Uh, are you two lost? Do you know them? Do I know the random children we just found wandering a space station? No. Can't say that I do. Okay, kids. Who wants an autograph? Protocol doesn't allow children in here. We should report this to someone. Ugh. Reports lead to paperwork, Jamila. It's right there in the name. Besides, what do I care if somebody brings their kids to work? I wouldn't want mine involved in any of this, but that's their call. Wait, you have kids? A boy. 
I'll be 16 in June. I have a picture somewhere. I'll, I'll show you. The Commander-in-Chief himself will be arriving to the station soon to oversee this scouting mission. Let's aim to impress. Ugh, not Bosco. Can I skip the debriefing? The team I had in the field believes they've identified an area where the Nephilim could be coming from. We've long suspected that there are nests that spawn more and more Nephilim. Could this be one? Let's figure it out. Get ready, team. Ah, the heroes of the day. Another impressive victory. Thank you, Commander. Eiji, Jamila, the praise is yours. You're the ones putting your lives on the line. Just fulfilling our duty, ma'am. With all these exciting developments happening, I'll want to see the rest of Operation Toronto up close. I'll see you all for the next mission's briefing. <laughs> if he wants a close-up view, we should bring him down there with us and give him a front row seat. Dr. Ivakin, I'm here to install some of the DNA augments your team has prepared for Tempest. Ah, yes. The engineers told me you wanted to perform the installation yourself. Come, come. Augments are an amazing discovery, yes? Absolutely. About augment installation, though. From what I understand, the Nephilim share genetic structures with the Org- Ah, uh, well, uh, not many people know this. And that's why he can grow to that impossible size. Exactly. In a way, we are all rooting for the Nephilim, eh? Look familiar. Aren't you that temp from the Brussels branch? Um, no, Mr. Fosco. I was Professor Maki's aide before his disappearance. I've taken over his work on the Sunrise Archives. Oh, that's right. My mistake. You two look very similar. Anyways, you know, I've never really understood the point of these archives. How exactly does this place help against the Nephilim? It was Professor Maki's belief, and mine as well, that the answers to the future lie in the past. Our hope was, is, that learning about the Nephilim's origins might help us devise a solution to ending their invasion. Sort of like finding a plug to a drain. Well, what a swell concept. Very interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Me? I've always been more of a forward thinker. There's no room in the past for the future, dear. <laughs> the way to deal with the Nephilim is by developing weapons that are stronger than them. Ah. Listen to me, yap, yap, yap. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your thing. Claire seems to think this place is useful, and I suppose I trust her judgment. Good afternoon. Welcome! Is everyone excited for the mission? Our scout drones have confirmed the presence of a Nephilim nest deep within enemy territory. Dr. Cruces. It seems that the underground tendrils the Nephilim come out of are connected to the nest. Destroying it would likely prevent more Nephilim from spawning. So Toronto could be free of Nephilim by dawn. That's amazing! And what's more, the boost to dawn's worldwide popularity will be unparalleled after tonight. Good luck!
I'm glad to see you made it back safely. Our sensor stopped working after detecting a unique signature. It was some kind of flying Nephilim. We're lucky we made it out of there alive. What the hell, Leon? How come no one saw that thing coming? You know as much as I do. The matter is being researched. We'll let you know when we know something. Based on the few readings we secure, we think the flying Nephilim you spotted could be a monarch. Dr. Cruz's. Ancient murals depict monarchs as the leaders, so to speak. Guiding the Nephilim and protecting the nests. Which would be why you found so much resistance on your last mission. Dr. Ivakin has a plan to lure this leader away from the nest. Yes. If our theory is correct, the Monarch will want to investigate any potential threats in the area. We've sent a team of drones to plant a leptonic ultra-radioactive emitter. It'll serve as a distraction for the Monarch, giving us an- Oh, uh, what? A bomb. A very large bomb. However, the device is malfunctioning and isn't responding to our signals. You'll have to go there and activate it manually. Yeah! I'm still full of adrenaline. What a fight! I identified some issues with my performance that I can improve upon, but... Yes, we did it! Good job, Eiji. You both did an incredible job. But we'll have time to celebrate after we defeat the Nephilim Guardian. I think the Guardian is Torgara, Monarch of Thunder. I'll have a dossier ready by the next briefing. It's good that the distraction worked. We had to blow up the whole section of the city, though. Destroy the world of today to build a better tomorrow. Hey, that's a good tagline. Let me write that down. Everyone, we've still got the Monarch to deal with. So get ready for the big fight. The good news is that destroying the nest had the desired effect. I read the reports. There are still Nephilim roaming around Toronto, but their numbers aren't replenishing. The bad is that the Monarch is very much active. The thunderstorm is worsening, and Torgara seems to be causing it. And that's not all. I believe that... Um, well, it's possible that Torgara might be able to lay a new nest. That's really not what I wanted to hear, Sophia. Let me point this out. The good news far outshines the bad. We've basically already got this. To save Toronto, we have to destroy the Monarch. Captain Leon, we're good to go. We did it! That monster is dead, and now the city and the people are safe! You did great out there, Jamila. I can't believe we pulled it off. After so many years of fighting and no progress. It's like a... Like a ray of hope that bursts through the darkened skies that we'd long thought perennial. A great line, I know. But it's not mine. I heard it on some news log. But it's good. And I've got the marketing team sharing it on the net. Congratulations. Jamila, AG. What you did down there was just incredible. The Sunrise's crew is already celebrating in the party room. Care to join us? As soon as I've had a shower, I've got a bottle of something special that I've been saving for a time like this. This one's for us, and how well we all did today. Come by! Salud! Sante. It's a well-deserved celebration, my friends. Tava.
Ваше здоровье! But this is my last one. I can't handle as much as you do, AG. Who would have guessed? After all these years fighting against the Nephilim, I ended up fighting alongside them. Still feels weird. We're at a turning point, AG. We couldn't have accomplished this without our two allies. You mean Ganita and <coughs> Megadon? Oh, they help too, but they're missing the <coughs> party. <laughs> That's what this party needs. Those two B-movie ripoffs stomping around. to go check that Megadon and Ganira are properly contained. Just in case! Victor... An incredible performance, Miss Sinai. Tempest Galahad is trending on social media everywhere. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to see my training is paying off. Oh, yes. The combat was incredible, too. I'll have no issues convincing the board to allocate more funds into the Atom programs now. That's great to hear. Having more Atoms in the field would definitely help. We're working on an extended contract with Syncor. If everything goes fine, we'll have dozens of units ready in a matter of weeks. Impressive. They'll be from the smaller Atom series Syncor was designing, right? Weaker than your Tempest, but... Cheaper to produce in large quantities. The price is still in the tens of billions, but they're worth every penny. There's a new emergency in South America. A large Nephilim horde is marching on the city of Foz do Iguazu. It is quite strange. This region hasn't been attacked by Nephilim. And we have- Don's Defense Division doesn't have any branches down there. How are the local forces doing? Not good. The attack site is on the border of Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. So their militaries are working together, but they're unprepared for the fight. Current focus is on evacuation. Then there's no time to waste. We're ready, Captain. I'm heading back, Captain Leo. As much as I enjoy these Justice League-style shenanigans, our partners at Syncor have some urgent matters that need attending to in Brazil. I heard. Things going how they are. I trust there's some damage control to be done. Luckily, the new Atom prototype's development won't be affected. We'll have them operational on schedule. All right. I'll postpone Operation Cairo until we resolve the Iguazu situation. Excellent work, as usual, Leo. Keep it up. Come in, Jamila. Sorry, I just saw the commander leaving, and I... Captain, does Fosco really have Dawn's best interest in mind? You've been talking to A.G. A bit, but A.G. mostly rants about Fosco giving our tech contracts to his former company. And I didn't need anyone else's insight to see the irony of an oil tycoon heading Dawn. I mean, the Nephilim appeared shortly after the climate catastrophe started. Look, Shady Pastor, no. The Commander gets things done, Jamila. And without Syncor, we wouldn't have Atoms to fight with. So you trust him, then? I figured I was worrying for nothing. I didn't say that. I said the Commander has Dawn's best interests in mind. We've seen leaps in growth because of him. 
but that's because he knows how to run a company. Companies are built for profit. Dawn was built to help people. Remember the difference. You again. You come here to watch Megadon and Ganera too? Got a name, kid? Kiba. Take a look, Kiwa. Out there, they're savages. Raging forces of destruction, totaling everything around them. But here, where we keep them sedated, they're like a couple of sleeping babies. You almost forget that they're monsters. Monsters? Look, Ganyra's eyes are open. Think she sees us? Wonder what goes on in her head. Is it all instinct, or is there more to it? She thinks it's uncomfortable. Yeah, she probably does. I have to go now. I wasn't supposed to be here. Sorry. doing huh? hey you're that girl from the other day you know you really shouldn't be wandering around down here unsupervised I have a name it's Kohara and you didn't answer my question I like to take care of my equipment you see not that I don't trust the technicians but out there the only thing standing between the Nephilim and me is Galahad he was right. You hate the Nephilim. Why? Why wouldn't I? The Nephilim have killed a lot of people, Kohara. They destroy families. They destroyed mine. That's why you wear that necklace. Yes, it was my mom's necklace. Hey, wait, how did you... It looks heavy. It's not. It's... Uh-oh, uh... Gotta go now. Bye. Bye. What's next? We pretty much cleared the city of Nephilim on the last mission. That's correct. The city seems safe for now. The Paraná River, however, has a horde walking through it. You'll be intercepting it before it can reach the city. Victor. Hey, we, we've detected an anomaly upriver where the storm is stronger. This could be where the source is, but our drones stop working when they get too close, so... We've been unable to confirm. So we'll have to go check it ourselves. Understood. It looked like the Nephilim were coming from that Syncor compound. Syncor. That was Fosco's company before he joined Dawn. And one of Dawn's main research partners and tech providers, yes. Wait, you knew that this was here, didn't you? We suspected that could be the case, but we needed to confirm it. Don't worry. We'll fill you in before the next mission. That's the official- Secrets on top of secrets. I don't like this. How likely is it that we find a nest inside? Syncor assures me that they've never had a nest in these facilities. But I want you to check it out yourselves. Get down there and figure out what's going on. We're now almost certain that there's a nest deeper inside of the compound. Our working theory... Is that Syncor lied and had a nest in their labs all along? Not the time, Eiji. This base was the primary research facility for Project Raven. There's no way they could have had a nest there without us knowing. Ahem! Our working theory is that a monarch somehow ended up in the compound. Whether she was captured or somehow stumbled in there, we don't know. And then the Monarch laid a nest, same as we thought Torgara would do. Precisely. Lucky for us, my team has identified a signature similar to Torgara's, located several kilometers southeast. If that nest is undefended, we've got no time to waste. 
Excellent work, agents. Dr. Crucis is preparing a profile on the Monarch. I'll let you know when it's ready. Hold on, Leon. We've got to talk. You knew those Syncor labs were there, and I think you at least suspected the Nest, too. And with all due respect, ma'am, Megadon and Ganera have been quite agitated down here. If we ever lost control... Listen, I hear your concerns, but I've got security clearances to adhere to. I need you to trust that I'm giving you all I can, and that I won't let you be taken by surprise. All right? Understood. Thank you, Captain. Honestly, Jamila, sometimes I wish you'd grow a backbone. What's that supposed to mean? She told us all she could. No, she told us all she wanted to. Whatever. I'm not in the mood to argue. Not in the mood to argue. Uh, another monarch, huh? Well, handle Torgara. We can handle this one. We've identified her as Sednagon, monarch of the tides. And we think she's trying to lay another nest. Tednagon is hiding in Iguazu Falls, a chasm known as the Devil's Throat. There's only she could be luring us into a trap, though. A trap in the Devil's Throat? That sounds pretty hard to swallow. Eh? Huh? Huh? We're not risking her spawning another nest. So we'll just have to be careful. We must strike ASAP. Another astoundingly successful mission. Great work, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thanks. What's with the long faces? That was a job well done. The council will be happy, and the investors will be happy, and that means we should be happy. Let's let them get some rest, Commander. They must be exhausted. Fair, fair. Easy for me to talk. They're the ones doing all the hard work. You're dismissed, team. We'll talk later. I wish Jamila and A.G. had joined us to celebrate. Ah, it feels wrong to have a party without the heroes. It does, but Sednagon was no walk in the park. I think those two could use some rest. Especially that A.G. <laughs> he can get a bit prickly without his beauty sleep, huh? <laughs> he can be a bit of a buffoon sometimes, I guess. I don't think... Whoa! You feel that? The entire station is shaking! The Nephilim! A.G., what's happening? It was Megadon and Ganera. Did you see? Is everyone all right? What the hell was that, Leon? You said those two were secure. They almost broke free! There must have been static in the transmissions. Static? We're not talking about a damn radio here. How could this happen? They're contained. That's all that matters. No, I want to know how this could have happened. How are these two being controlled? That's classified information. We're not discussing any further. So they're really not as under control as we've been told. <laughs> The team is on its way back, and the operators are disconnected and recovered. What have we learned? 
nest appears to have defense mechanisms we weren't aware of. Nephilim from kilometers around were gathering near the nest. I think the nest must have called them. <sighs> I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. At least the team got away all right. We'll need to clear out Cairo before attempting another attack. The commander won't be happy about the slower schedule, but it'll have to do. We need to clear the city of Nephilim before moving against the nest. We'll start with the hotspot in central Cairo. That's in a historic district! So many old monuments could be lost! And lives! There are people still living there. Yes. You'll need to be careful that the Nephilim don't get outside of the evacuated area. How? This is the same crap I heard before the triplets. And now I'm supposed to contain the battle area while bringing two barely contained Nephilim with me? You need not worry about what happened with Ganira and Megadon the other day. Our operators can handle themselves. Operators? Uh, I, I mean... AG, you need to trust us. Megadon and Ganira are under control. You've got your orders. Get down there and stop that horde. Jamila, about your conversation with AG and Cairo. No need, ma'am. I assure you, it won't happen again. I expect it won't. We can't have internal quarrels compromising you two in the field. Regardless, are you sure there's nothing you want to talk about? I don't wear my mother's necklace to cry over it, Captain. It's a reminder of what I fight for. The triple incident was a long time ago. I'll be fine. All right. You know you've got people you can talk to. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Dismissed. Uh, let me guess. You're here to talk about how we control Kanira and Magadon. Sharp as ever. I know that we use special waves or something to transmit orders, and that it only works on first wave Nephilim. Usually, Leon says jump, they jump, but other times, when they try to break free. How directly are we controlling them? You mentioned operators in one of the briefings. I talk too much. So there are men controlling those two Nephilim somehow. How do they do it? Why won't you tell me? But AG, it's... complicated. It's not up to me. You're asking the wrong guy. Sorry. These reports about an atom accurate? Yeah, they are. And you said the atoms were on our side. It must have been stolen, right? How could this happen? I was assured security measures were as strict as possible. But why did it show up? If I stole an atom, I wouldn't flaunt it like that. Were they teasing us? I think he'd wanted to destroy that machine before we got to it. But what? We have no idea. It was completely vaporized with no salvage commander. Has Sincor reported any missing atoms? No. But I'll make sure that this incompetence is thoroughly investigated. You have a moment, Eiji. 
I guess. I just wanted to say that you've got my trust in this rogue Adam situation. It's bad business for all of us. Uh, must be bad press for Syncor, too. Uh. This Adam stealing asshole deserves whatever they get. We're together on this, AJ. Sure. Locating the rogue Adam has become priority number one. Dr. Ivakin. Uh, despite our best efforts, we haven't been able to track it. We assume it's using a cloaking device. Still, it can't have gone far from the evacuated area or it would have been seen. We're equipping you with sensors. If you get close to it, we'll know. Wait, so we're just supposed to wander around like we're whistling for a lost dog? That, that's effectively the idea, yes. Atoms are expensive, and there will be someone piloting it. But if you find it, and it's hostile, lethal force is authorized. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Agreed. We have a rough search pattern. Follow it and we should find the Atom. Well, what happened to the Atom's pilot? I'm afraid that the Atom's self-destruct system was activated. There was... nothing left. I see. Well, they got what they paid for. I won't waste resources investigating the issue further. In any case, the mission was a success. The rogue Adam will no longer be a problem. Permission to leave, ma'am? I think I need some time alone. There was a man inside that Adam. It was different from killing Nephilim. Dismissed. Take your time, Jamila. Miss Sinai, I see you're still upset about destroying that piloted Adam. Yes. I know it's self-destructed, but I can't help but feel responsible. And we don't even know why. Listen, I get it. You go out there to protect people, not to add to the Nephilim's toll. But think about it this way. Who knows what evil intentions someone opposing Dawn might have had? Who knows how many lives you've saved by taking out that Adam? Take your time, Jamila. And if you ask me, you did the right thing. Thank you, sir. You're in my spot. If you want to switch hangouts, it's fine, but... I don't think I'll be too good at fixing Tempest. What do you want, A.G.? To... apologize. There I was complaining about the lives lost in the triple incident to someone who knows that toll better than even I can. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Can I ask you something? Why do you bother coming down here to watch these two? They're awful. Yes, and I just wonder what they think about it. Nothing. Monsters don't think. You know how I became Aegis Prime, right? Well, here's something you don't know. My DNA is still mutating. I'm closer to Nephilim every day. In some ways, I'm more like those two than you now. That's not true. Sure it is. And that's okay. When my son was born, I was worried he'd turn out to be some kind of genetic freak like me. But he was a healthy baby boy, same as any other. I guess some part of me will always remain human. As long as I remember that it's in there. It's how we act that matters, Jamila. No amount of Sheol energy will ever change that. No robotic arms or scar tissue either. Well, what about them? They'll never be human. No, but by now they've saved just as many lives as we have. That counts for something, doesn't it? I'll see you around, Jamila. You can borrow the spot for now. 
You know, I was almost starting to warm up to Megadon and Ganera. I was even kind of seeing them as allies. But after their breakout attempt when we defeated Sednagon, I just can't bring myself to trust them. I think they must have spent years being experimented on in those labs in Guazu. You'd be trying to bust out too. Still, there's definitely something to that. Remember when Victor said something about operators? Like someone's controlling them, like a video game or something. I want to figure this out, A.G., but where would we start? I don't know. I tried Victor before, but he's a dead end. <clears throat> what we need is someone who loves unearthing secrets. And I think I know just the person. Sophia, there's something we'd like to talk to you about. Okay. We're trying to figure this Project Raven thing out. We thought if anyone might be interested and have the resources to help, it'd be you. Oh, I can't help you with that. You can't or you won't. Are you a part of it? How much do you know? I don't know anything. And I'm not interested. Sorry. Wait, Sophia, please, listen. You have nothing to worry about. That's for me to decide. Look, Professor Maki was investigating Project Raven before he disappeared. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I want nothing to do with it. This is Jamila and I. We aren't easily replaceable. Trust us, Sophia. We'll protect you. I need to know that we're doing the right thing here. Fine. I can look into it. But it'll take some time. I'll let you know if I find anything. There aren't enough Nephilim left in the area to support the nest. It's time to attack. According to this, there's a horde of Nephilim in the deserts to the west. Is that the Monarch? Probably. I think they're reacting to the nest's defense being destroyed, but they're moving at a very slow pace. We've done some math, and we are confident you've got time to destroy the nest before it gets reinforced. Meanwhile, I'll try to get as much intel on the Monarch as I can. Well, let's get going. We destroyed the nest, so I guess the Monarch comes next? As we mentioned last mission, there's a horde in the desert that we believe may be led by the Monarch. There's been seismic activity in that area. It matches ancient depictions of four Monarchs, each tied to a classic element. Uh, though it's worth pointing out, we haven't detected a Monarch's energy signature. The plan is to strike against the Horde, and hopefully lure the Monarch in. I really thought there'd be a Monarch with those Nephilim. Where is she? Reports of earthquakes are increasing all over the region, and there are multiple Nephilim still on the run. The logical conclusion is that she's hiding, setting up another nest. Then we've got to keep searching. There isn't much time left. We have located a region in the desert where Nephilim are piling up. And it lines up with the origin of the seismic waves. And there are some ancient ruins that have appeared in the area, too. That must be where the Monarch is, I have no doubt. I believe her to be Gayakras, Monarch of Tremors. Ancient ruins? I've got a bad feeling about this. They have emerged as a consequence of the earthquakes. A happy coincidence! And satellite imagery suggests some unique architectural traits that we haven't seen before in other ancient Egyptian ruins. Please leave some of them intact. Time to fight another monarch. Sophia, mind sharing the intel you've gathered? This is Gayakras, Monarch of Tremors. Just to be sure, are these names in the ancient texts, or... Many sources represent the Monarchs as four. Each one corresponds to an element. 
Torgara would be wind, more like lightning. Sinagon, water. Gaiakras, earth. And we believe that a destructive Nephilim reported in Japan is Agniton, fire. Gaiakras won't be easy to fight. According to the text, she's tough as a mountain, hard as stone, and hits like a boulder. All right, we'll be careful. You know the drill. Let's take that Gaiakras down. Jamila, congratulations again on destroying them. Screw that! We're here because of the kids! We've just seen them... plugged into those machines. Is that how they operate Megadon and Ganita? You've been keeping them locked in this station? You can't do that to children! What level of violence are they being exposed to? Are they even healthy? I can't believe you've been hiding this from us all along. If the world knew about this... That'd be the end of Project Raven. No more Megadon. No more Ganera. No more hope. The end justifies the means. Bull. Enough! Can't you see? We need every weapon we can use against the Nephilim. Damned if I understand anything about those children's telepathic abilities, or why only twin children can control the Nephilim. But I assure you that if it wasn't for them, hundreds of millions would be dead. Trust me, I don't like any of this either, but this isn't my decision. And think of what's at stake here. We need those children! If they're confined, it's because the Project Raven scientists assure us that it's safer for them. And for us. But I promise you, they're healthy and are receiving an education. If you want to denounce us to the press or to the Security Council, I can't stop you. But without Dawn and the resources we've painfully gathered over decades, who's going to ensure humankind's survival, Sophia? What? What kind of hero would that make you, A.G.? Helped two children doomed millions? All the people that Megadon and Ganera would have saved. Can you carry them on your conscience, Jamila? God knows I can't. But the very least you can do, if you do care, don't keep the kids locked down anymore. I'll see what I can do. Dismissed. Leon came through. The kids are on their way. Their room is ready. It's better than the one they were in, but this still feels wrong. They were taken from an orphanage before Project Raven and then brought here last year. They've known almost nothing else. Let's make them as comfortable as possible. Is there really no way of controlling Megadon and Ganera without them? How does this actually work? It'd be incredibly difficult to explain. Project Raven found ways to focus their telepathic abilities, using it to bond them with specific Nephilim. The machinery increases their connection, and sort of like how Tempest and Jamila are connected. And it has to be children? 
We, we don't really know for sure. But all of our research indicates that as telepaths grow older, their ability is lost. Well, I hate to say Leon was right, but these two kids have saved millions of lives. Once we destroy the last monarch, we'll need to make sure that they go somewhere better. Like where? I know what it's like to grow up without a family. They won't have it easy out there, either. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Hey. We brought our things. These are the barracks. We prepared a room for both of you. Are you doing alright? Yes. Thank you. Is it bunks? Dibs on the top one! Check it out! The Earth looks so cool from here! What are those buttons? Oh, I bet one of these launches the atoms! No, those control the camera drones. The launch controls are over the... Don't touch anything without permission, kids. Same goes for you, A.G. We're sorry. <clears throat> Hi, Claire. Gohara, good to see everyone here. Now let's talk Operation Tokyo. This is where the last monarch and her nest are located. We'll use the same strategy as before. Once we've cleared the Nephilim hordes, we'll lure the monarch away, strike at the nest, and destroy the monarch before she can lay another one. Sure thing. Let's go! Jamila, do you think talk with Tempest? Uh, no. Not in the way you mean. Why? Kiwa told me that Adam means atomic telepaneth something mecha. Telekinetically operated mecha. Telepathy and telekinesis are different things. Different how? Telepathy is communicating using only your mind. Telekinesis is moving things with your brain. So you can move things with your brain? That's awesome. Not exactly. It only works when a pilot is plugged into their atom. The system reads their brain waves. So even I could pilot an atom? Probably. But it takes years of training to synchronize with a machine. Would you like to be an atom pilot someday, Kohara? Nah. Megadon is way cool. We'll have to agree to disagree on that. Uh, Mr. A.G., do you know anything about Haiku? A little bit. Why do you ask? Could you, um, would you read this? You wrote one? Let me see. The crickets look up. There it comes the marching band. Then there's silence. Not the most subtle, but it's not bad. Where did you learn about haiku? Sometimes I go to Mr. Maki's office before he was gone. He gave me books. I showed it to Kohara, but she says it's stupid. We argued. Sometimes she can be so annoying. She's your family. You won't always agree on everything, but you look after each other. I guess. Thank you, Mr. A.G. We should have a talk about the crickets, though. We've learned that Professor Maki, Dr. Cruz's predecessor, has backed up his research in several locations across Japan. Sophia? Most of the data centers containing the backups have been destroyed. However... Uh, excuse me. Where, uh, where's the washroom? That door to your left, then straight ahead. As I was saying, Professor Maki's backups were spread through several data centers, 
but only two remain. The one in Shinjuku is in a more accessible area, so your objective is to go there and secure it. On another note, Syncor's latest combat atoms have been deployed near our mission location. You, you may see some in the field. More atoms means more forces against the Nephilim. This operation will be over in no time. I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. I told you to go before the meeting. What's the status on the data retrieval? We're still sorting through it, but to be honest, there's not too much that's useful. There's some information about findings in Bermuda, at the Sheol energy pools where Eiji got his powers. Discussion of a tablet from there, containing references to something called the Covenant and... Well, it's hard to say what else. The information is fragmented. It'd be easier to parse it if we could get the other backup. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. See our new teammates are here. I'm Conrad Fosco, Commander in Chief of Dawn. And you are? Why is he asking? He already knows who we are. He looks old. Maybe he forgot. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you a rude one? Alright, Captain Leone. Why don't you tell everyone about the surprise we've got in store? A large cluster of Nephilim has gathered in downtown Tokyo. The surprise is that this time, you'll be working with an Atom Squad at your side. Nice! Uh, let the Atoms deal some final blows if you can. It's good PR. You knew Professor Maki for a long time, right, Eiji? Sure. He was my boss when I joined Don's training program. He helped me hone my abilities when I became Aegis Prime. That was near Bermuda, right? His backup files show that he was still keeping track of the increasing shield energy levels down there. That's not surprising. Maki Hakase was always very focused on his research. Ah, he always found time to drink some sake with his friends. He was more of a mentor than a friend to me. I keep wondering if he would have shared more of his discoveries with me if we'd been closer. If he had any idea, those secrets would have endangered you. I really doubt it. Sometimes I wish he had. He found something. I just know it. Something that someone didn't want getting out. Let's use this as a lesson, then. No more secrets. We're in this together, Sophia. Thanks, A.G. That means a lot to me. Jamila, what are you doing down here? I'm looking over some of the new augment proposals from R&D. I think these could push Tempest to the next level. That's good news. Though Tempest is already quite powerful. We can always push her further, right? The faster we kill the Nephilim, the faster this is all over. I don't mean to pry, Jamila. But is that still all that matters to you? Exterminating the Nephilim? Humanity won't be safe until they're destroyed. What else could matter? What about friends? Family? Family? Are you serious? You still think you're the only one who understands this kind of suffering. But I know exactly what you're feeling. My partner worked with Dawn's emergency services, and was left in a coma during a Nephilim attack. And that doesn't make you hate them? What would be the point? They're mindless beings. It'd be like hating cars all my life if it had happened in an accident. We lose family and life no matter what happens, Jamila. If we don't work to make it grow, it vanishes. The last thing I'd want my death to do is stop my family from growing. Do you think that's what your family wanted? I've made peace with the past, Jamila. You should too. Atom scouts have been searching the Mount Fuji area. They've confirmed the presence of both a nest and a monarch. Commander Fosco is in Brussels. 
coordinating with the rest of the Defense Division. They're devising an attack plan to send in the Atoms. Speaking of the Atoms, have they figured out anything about that machine we found downtown? I'm afraid we've had no word from Syncor yet. <laughs> we'll continue to weed the Nephilim out in the region, while we wait on word about the nest. We've traced Professor Maki's remaining backup files to Yamanashi, not far from Mount Fuji. Oh, oh, let me guess. For our next mission, we'll be clearing the way through Yamanashi so Don can retrieve the files. Wow, didn't peg you for a telepath, AG. Is he one? Of course not, numbskull. That's basically it, AG. If there's a chance that Maki found something important, we want to know what it is. Yamanashi is not far from the Monarch's lair. I expect things will be pretty fiery. AG, can I ask you something? Why do adults lie so much? That's kind of a tough one. Could you be more specific? Fosco says a lot of things that he doesn't mean. And he's not the only one, but he does it a lot. Yeah, well, Fosco's an ass. Seriously busy guy. He doesn't always make time for the truth. Liar! I know what you were gonna say. Why don't you like Fosco? Where do I start? For one thing, he's probably funneling Don's resources into his companies. Well, why don't you stop him? It's not that simple. The Nephilim are the bigger threat, literally. He helps us fight them, even if his reasons aren't exactly kosher. But you're a hero. You should stop him. A hero can't save everyone, Kohara. Sometimes they have to choose who they care about most. You know, I haven't always been so good at that myself. You look concerned, Kiwa. Everything okay? It's just... Are Kinera and Megadon going to be okay? What do you mean? With you and your sister guiding them, they've been doing great so far. I mean... After we kill the last Nest and the last Monarch... When we've killed all the other Nephilim... What will happen to them? Well... They're also Nephilim, and... Eiji told me once that he wasn't so different from them, that we weren't. I used to think he couldn't be more wrong. I guess I'm not so sure anymore. You care about protecting the world. That's what Ganyra cares about, too. I'm sure she does. Everyone, listen up. We've got a thin window here, and we have to strike. The destruction of this nest could change the course of history. All available atoms are coordinating to distract the Monarch. With Agnator preoccupied, we'll have an opening to strike against the Mount Fuji nest. The last major nest. I can't believe we're this close to our goal. If we only have until Agnator returns, then there's no time to waste. Let's get going. So we're taking Agnator down now, right? I'm ready. I'm afraid not. The Council has put the Atom Squads on that operation. We've been redirected to the Nephilim Horde heading into Tokyo. What? Why wouldn't we be fighting alongside the Atoms? This is Fosco's doing, isn't it? I couldn't say. I could tell you how the Commander has been lobbying the Council for an increase in Atom production. Typical. But that doesn't make our mission any less important. Sophia? I've been reading through Professor Maki's files and believe the Horde is heading towards another one of those machines in the downtown area. I can explain more in detail later. We need to take advantage of this opportunity and get that machine to the Sunrise for analysis. Understood. We'll head down there immediately. We're right, AG. I can't believe they turned on us. Never mind that. What do we do now? We've analyzed the machine. The evidence is conclusive. It 
It's the supersonic emitter designed by Professor Maki. It's used to incite and lure the Nephilim. Wait, what? Maki analyzed the supersonic signals in Nephilim territory and replicated the patterns. It's how the nests call for Nephilim. He made a machine that could produce the sounds, hoping to lure the Nephilim away from populated areas. First, the rogue Adam destroyed the one we found in Cairo. Then the Adams took the other one from Tokyo. I hate to admit it, but it's clear that Syncor is creating these machines. They do look quite similar to some prototypes we saw in Iguazu. It's unacceptable and a gross misuse of resources. I'll be taking the evidence to the Security Council. But right now, our immediate concern is Agnator. As bad as this is, we can't let the Monarch establish another nest. And I don't trust the Atoms to destroy it. The Security Council has ordered us aside while they prepare the Atoms for an offensive against Agnator. They're claiming our team instigated the dispute with the Atoms. What? But they attacked us! Someone must be turning the Security Council against us. Weren't the Atom teams already attacking Agnator? Why the new plan? They've been unable to overcome the Monarch. Syncor's producing new units, but the manufacturing is delaying the assault by a week. A week? We can't wait that long. Agnator will have another nest down any day now. I know. I just don't know what to do. That's not true. You do know. Listen to me, Leon. Stand by a decision this time. But we have got to do this. <sighs> I was already written up for letting Kiwa and Kohara out of that room. Disobeying orders again could mean my job. But what's a pink slip from dawn if all the Nephilim are gone? Let's go get that monarch. Hell yeah! All right! Let's get ready, Kiwa. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Kill this thing, this nightmare is finally over.
Heiji, Jamila, thank you for coming. I, I know we were hoping this was almost over, but we must ask you to go back to action. The situation is dire. What's the matter? We're detecting a massive energy anomaly deep in the Atlantic Ocean. It seems to have started when you destroyed the Tokyo Nest. The instant Agnitor was killed, the growth became exponential. That's near the Shiel Pool where I became Aegis. And to make matters worse, droves of Nephilim are surfacing on the nearby land masses. Another nest? It can't be. Uh, actually, I doubt it is. The signature matches nothing we've seen prior. It's much stronger than a nest. Compiling the scraps and pieces from the archives with our recovered backup files suggests that Professor Maki predicted this event. He believed the Nephilim to be a first attempt, a warning, so to speak, to a If the warning fails, something called the Harbinger would come to enforce the more drastic, greater Covenant. This could be it. This balance thing, does it have to do with the climate catastrophe? That's when the Nephilim emerged. Exacto. The data we retrieve from Japan contains evidence that suggests that the nests were actually cleansing the environment around them. In any case, it's too late now. And looking at these energy levels, I fear we might be talking about the Earth reverting. A terraformation type of deal. Whatever's going on down there, nests, harbinger, whatever, we're going to stop it. The Nephilim will no longer endanger Earth. I'm heading down to the Atlantic. Who's with me? The sunrise has your back, Miss Sinai. And we'll be down there with you. Let's go get him, Captain. What's with this bubble? It's at least 10 kilometers wide. Those structures had Syncor's logo on them. This is a Syncor base. Of course there'd be a base here. It's the Xiao Pool. They're manipulating it somehow. Let's hold here for a while. Galahad systems need to recharge, and Kiwa and Kohara could probably use a break. <sighs> so could I. But let's not stay too long. We don't want Syncor getting the drop on us. The way Sophia put it, it sounded like killing the monarchs caused the Harbinger to appear. It seemed so clear that we were the good guys fighting the Nephilim, making the world a better place, but what if we've caused something even worse to happen? What other choice did we have? If we hadn't fought, countless lives would have been lost. If there are any bad guys, it's those bastards that used all this violence for profit. You, me, Megadon, and Ganera. Giant pawns from the start. You know what? I don't care why all of this happened. I want to know what life is like without the Nephilim. And I intend to see it. I'm with you, Jamila. I've got someone waiting for me up there. Whatever this is, it's not the end. Professor Maki designed a machine that would keep a shield dimensional portal open. Do you think Syncor could have one? Uh, it's likely. Syncor needs this small to remain open for the Nephilim to invade. Otherwise, their well will run dry. Mosco must have known all along that the Maw would open when the Monarchs were destroyed. The Covenants. The Nephilim were trying to accomplish something. When they failed, the Harbinger would come out. Could this Harbinger be controlling the Nephilim, then? No. 
At least not Megadon and Ganera. Ah, because you control them. No. Because they were born to stop the Harbinger. Hmm. That would mean that the first wave Nephilim... Kiwa, what else do you know? Nothing. Sorry. That's all that they told us. Hey, Jamila. You're doing great, all right? Just... I thought you should know that. Thanks, A.G. I really hoped this was the right move. I never stopped to think about how our actions here might affect the rest of Dawn. What are they gonna do? Fire us? Oh, a message from the Sunrise. Hiwa and Kohara... Good. Let's wreck this place. We've got a vessel en route to the base's remains. They'll rescue anyone left there. And maybe retrieve some data. Ma Bosco implied they're keeping telepaths somewhere. They could assist us in finding survivors. What about the Megadon and Ganira lookalikes? Was Jamila able to gather samples? Yes, but they weren't like other Nephilim. Their molecular composition is quite unstable and they're mostly organic. They're basically clumsy imitations of the first wave Nephilim. Let's hope those were the replicas. What's the news on the Sheol pool? It's not good. The Sunrise is reporting that it's still growing exponentially. I can't believe Bosco, that utter human garbage, was doing that to even more children. Don't think about it now. Let's focus on finishing this. Surge's radius is getting smaller. That's great news. Maybe killing these monarchs is reducing the Sheol field. Kia said the radius is decreasing. The energy levels are continuing to rise. Did finish already? Megadon's getting irritated with all this waiting. Let's go! Ganyra's anxious too. She's getting upset at whatever's in there. Listen, these energy levels are impossible. There's nowhere on Earth it could be coming from. It must be coming from somewhere else. What do you mean? Couldn't the readings just be raw? Oh. I feel something coming. Oh, Drop the charts! It's about to... Victor? Cut off. Let's go! Let's head back. The sunrise should be ready for extraction. Let's get out of here. Hey! AG, behind you! Kiwa, Kohara, tell them to stop! They don't want to. What? Just order them! We're not their enemies! They don't take orders from us. We just talk to them. That's all. Azrael is gone. They won't help us anymore. What? Aegis, let it be. It's dangerous here. Let's get to the surface. Is heading the committee investigating the explosion that ended Captain Claire Leone's life?
Today's hearing is also expected to address the disappearance of Conrad Fosco, Don Commander-in-Chief and former Syncor CEO. Meanwhile, authorities continue to ask for any information on the whereabouts of former agents Eiji Murasame and Jamila Sinai. Despite all that's happened, the world rejoices. The Nephilim threat is over.
Oh.